welcome back to the channel and in this video you are going to see some shocking behavior from you guessed it the met police these individuals in the role of constable for the met police for the most part are doing a terrible job daily i'm sick of hearing the nonsense that it's a few bad apples within the met it's not the vast majority of constables that are in the met right now in my opinion shouldn't be there in this video you're going to see the behaviors the language and the rhetoric that comes from bad policing people that shouldn't be in the role let's take a look have you heard of have you heard of kind of diffused things yeah the future, so they were yeah. fighting inside there you were yeah, inside there they were fighting no but you're not diffusing them now okay thank you for your input as well sir. i'm trying to provoke them now thank you very it? much Thank you very much. Now, now you're trying to provoke them. Try and defuse things. Okay, thank so you. Instead of trying to, because all that stuff is not oh, good. Not, it's not good trying to provoke them. You can see they're a bit, yeah. had, a, had a few drinks. Oh, sorry, I've got your words here. Sorry? No, oh, it's just someone who's giving an opinion. Yeah, oh, it's public. fine, that's okay. You give your right. opinion. You can give your okay. opinion. Excuse me, I didn't Mustard. say that you didn't. <laughs> what an interesting story. He's had a drink as well. Uh, what is the uh, drinking day? I don't drink. Why is the word mustard funny to you? Mustard. It's my name. It's interesting, isn't it's it? Funny though. I like my name. Do you know you're carrying on provoking drinking. members of the public. I'm not provoking anyone. You just laughed no, at my name. You just laughed at my reason. name. Is that yeah. a provocation? I think it is. Two police constables on the job. That shouldn't be there. That should be nowhere near the public. So what supposedly happened is two individuals or three individuals have been in the shop, caused a bit of a commotion fighting actually in the shop and they've now been either kicked out or told to move on and now while they are going up the road the two police constables are shouting things to them up the street the female was making gestures to them um acting like absolute children you know no professionalism no de-escalation no um no semblance of real policing anywhere in that scene and then when a member of the public has rightly looked at the situation and said hang on a minute this isn't right i'm going to call him out here he's now being targeted by the police as an agitator as someone who shouldn't be offering his opinion and now the silly wpc is moaning about the guy mentioned her last name mustard She's a little bit hot under the collar um, and she took a little bit of offence to that because she wants to use anything to try and draw attention away from their behaviours. Absolutely disgusting from the Met. Mark Rowley, hold, hold your constables to account if you can. But we know you can't because you don't have any authority over your constables. You should hang your head in shame leave the post leave the role you're not fit for purpose the met as a whole isn't fit for purpose we need something better we need something that's worth the money that we're putting into it because at the minute it's just oh, i don't know you tell me what it is you started there didn't you get a little nervous oh you? am i Am I really? Listen, listen you're bored as well. He's bored as well. I'm oh. not. It's okay. okay. Do you have, have anything bad to say? Have you got someone inside there? Have you got someone inside there? Very confrontational, aren't you? You actually started the confrontation. I, I was speaking to him nice. and then you came Steph, and you gave me all the details. He's bored. I'll talk to you because I'm also bored. Fine, you can record it if you want. Well, what do you want to talk about, mate? Because I'm bored as well. You're sad. You're very sad. I'm not the one talking to police officers about nothing. When you was in, um, uh, when did Hendon, did they teach you about diffusing situations. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. You wasn't with them, you uh, tried to provoke uh, them. Have they I gone? knew you were. Have they gone? Yeah, actually, sometimes Calm when in this job, down. you need to be harsh and firm with people. Down. You need to be firm with people as police officers. No, you, you need would to not, because you're not a police officer. You need to if you're things, dealing with people who are okay. aggressive, you need to be firm okay. with them. Okay. That's what it means to be a police officer as well. No. You, you might not be aware of that because you're not a police officer. So as I've said before, um I've seen traits of MPD in many, many videos. Many probably all of them when it comes to dealing with the public in the most vile way which is what's happening here i'm not a mental health practitioner never claimed to be i'm not a, a psychiatrist or anything like that but what i do know is what i've studied and what i've studied is there's many symptoms of mpd that when you start to put the pieces together you will form the opinion of this person may be suffering with this condition um the female 
keep saying you're not a police constable you don't know what you're talking about essentially you don't know what our job is so you shouldn't be commenting what a ridiculous thing to do so what she's actually saying is if there was an investigation into this and the people who were doing that investigation were independent they weren't police or never were they aren't qualified to know what they are looking at that is absolute nonsense but this is why the ilpc doesn't work anyway because we have many ex-coppers um, or people who are very friendly with police in that role looking at conduct and coming to the conclusion that the police are doing a great job which we know that's so far from the truth mark rowley has totally lost control of his force um over thirty thousand constables just over ten thousand now uh, pcsls is looking for more um colleagues to join the ranks doesn't care really where he gets them from um would love it to be a more diverse police uh, police force which would be good if the people that he was bringing in through that diversity were capable of doing the job because first and foremost if you want people in a job that's so important especially in the met they need to be capable it doesn't matter what gender they are it doesn't matter what color skin they have or what background they're from they need to be capable of doing the basics of the job and these two are showing you that they are not capable the guy at uh, the male pc has already said he's bored that's why he's engaging like this he's bored and he's scared he's scared because now we have the ability to film the police at every turn and he's been seen doing something he shouldn't be and now he's trying to be weird about the situation yeah on board as well i'll talk to you odd very very odd behavior so how common long sense. your a police officer spoke to you what will you uh, appreciate from them what you want them to speak to him in a very calm and uh, uh, facility oh, yeah, way. yeah so if, if you came across as a police officer i'll give you an example because we're talking now isn't it i'll give you an example if you if i told you information that those guys inside there were fighting people inside there you would write me, you would want me, <laughs> wait a minute, I'm giving you the question, let me give you if the answer. If they were fighting, yeah, so I would you say, would arrest them as a you would want me, beast. So you would want me to just speak no, to but no, the if, if they were fighting, you wouldn't let them go, you would arrest them as a breach of the peace. How do you know that? Or afraid. Why would you say that? Because it's the law, and, 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 and you guys seem They're very... They're fighting each other, sir. Huh? Fighting each other, sir. Yeah, but still breach of peace or afraid. Fighting each other, sir, yeah. It's still... Yeah. So, so why how would you, you, how would you approach it? How would you approach it, in other words? If, if they were fighting, as you claim, I would arrest them as a breach of the peace, or I'm afraid, because it's a public place. Of course you would. It's the law. It's the law. I wouldn't be like you guys. How would your manner be? Trying to provoke them. How would your manner be? Sorry? How would your manner be? Not like yours. So you wouldn't be firm? You be have you been in that situation? I don't think I you would have. I wouldn't arrest them breach of the peace. You haven't been in the situation, now have you? Talk, you haven't dealt with groups. No, because you're lying. People. You I have not dealt. They weren't fighting. You have not dealt so with groups. So if they were fighting, people. you would arrest them breach of the peace. You wouldn't have you Actually, it's not breach of the peace, actually. Afraid. Okay. Yeah, then that, that then. But you didn't. You haven't been in that situation when you've dealt with the people. So they weren't fighting. You're lying. No, he was giving you a rhetorical okay, uh, situation, actually. Don't talk to us anymore. Why don't you become I'm a police officer and then see how you would handle people like that? I don't need to. We need to. more people I like you to come. I run my own home. business. And? Uh, oh, I, I haven't got the patience so, for this. So, what right do you have coming? I haven't. Because we need patience. No, 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 no. To have colleagues like you, I wouldn't have patience for this job. You see, the thing is, you know what? When we do, we've got a proper job there. We've got rid of the police. You said they had a proper job. Everybody hated the police. You provoked them and made them go with a bit of patience in the mouth. Excuse me. They can't get away no, with whatever they want. They cannot get away with whatever they want just because they want to act. They film, did because apparently they, they, they were fighting. They cannot get away with it. They cannot get away well, well, with apparently, it. Apparently, apparently they were fighting. And you expect us to be nice as pie to people Calm who were awful. Down. You just said they were fighting. No, he gave you a rhetorical yeah. scenario. No, he said they were fighting. Oh, no, he, oh, so he was lying then. Leave it. He gave you a rhetorical. So they weren't fighting. Step. You're drunk, aren't you? He is very drunk. You didn't. You didn't even remember what he said. He said they were fighting each other. No, he didn't. I've got it recorded. Rhetorical scenario. I've got it recorded. Your okay, book. okay. When I went to give some, some friendly advice to men to have, maybe drink less during the day. Why is policing such a magnet for people like this? For people that seem to have huge insecurities about their place in the world, narcissistic behaviours coming out of their ears. Is it the authority that policing gives them? The warrant card, the uniform? I was speaking on a panel about this the other day on Society X's channel. Fantastic channel. Go to it, subscribe. He does lives um, quite regularly. Brilliant panel. Um, and we were speaking about stuff like this. And I was being asked about 
different things regarding MPD, regarding why police behave like they do, and why the police is such a mecca for individuals that really shouldn't be in the role. And it's all to do with power. It's all to do with having authority over others that you think are below you. I try and caveat everything with the the notion that not all police are bad. I'm struggling with that at the moment. I'm struggling with differentiating between the good ones and the bad ones because if you were a good police constable and you were seeing these behaviours, even if you didn't have it around you at the time, wouldn't you be going to your superiors and saying, look, I've seen many videos online where we as a force, as a service, are looking absolutely stupid. We're looking like we don't know what we're doing, like we, we're taking anyone in to be a copper and that's going to affect me and my job because I'm a good constable. Wouldn't you go to your superiors and do that? Wouldn't you raise these concerns? Wouldn't you get together with all the good coppers and say, we need to do something about the bad ones, we need them out? Because in the eyes of the public, we're the ones who are doing bad. We're just the same. I just think it's something to think about. The constables in this situation, I wouldn't employ to walk dogs. Um, I don't think they've got the capability of doing much in life. They've found a role where they're very comfortable. They can be bored at work and berate the public who want to challenge their behaviours. This is the worst of policing. This is two constables who, for, to my mind anyway, should never be anywhere near the public. The female, angry, um, condescending, patronising, all the traits that you don't want in a police constable. Gaslighting. She's even saying that the guy's drunk because she can't think of anything else to back up her own behaviours. It's shocking. The male, I think he's a little bit thick, so I'm going to give him a little bit of a pass. I think he's a bit daft. Um, again, we don't people who are thick in the police. Um, but do you know what? I might be wrong. Tell me in the comments. Tell me if you think I'm wrong in this whole situation. Have I got it completely amiss? I'll be Mr. In Between, and I'll see you on the next one.